Okay, so we're starting talking about fractions in math now. And one of the big things that um, our focus point is for fractions this year is being able to look at fractions and know which fractions are bigger than other fractions. So for example, if we look at a fraction using a circle here and we shade in one-fourth of that circle, this shows one-fourth. But if we make that same size circle, roughly, and we split it into eighths, and we shade in one-eighth of that circle, we see that one-eighth is actually smaller than one-fourth. And that's a hard concept for kids to get because the eight is bigger than the four. Uh, so the bigger the number on the bottom, the smaller the actual fraction. That's the first thing that we kind of look at. And then the second thing is looking at how to find a fraction of a number. And this can be kind of tricky because a lot of times it's hard for us to explain it in a way that kids could understand. So we really talk about it as division. Fractions are just division. So if I am trying to find one-fourth of 12, that's exactly the same as 12 divided by 4, and that equals 3. So we can look at it physically by looking at that circle again and splitting it into fourths. And then if I have 12 dots and I put them evenly throughout the um, fourths, I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you could see that I have 3 in each spot. So each of these has 3 equals 12 total, and then one-fourth of the total is 3. So we can look at it physically like that. Those are really the important things that we look at. Um, it's going to be a, a hard stretch for kids to be able to look at um, numbers as they get more um, complicated. So if we were looking at 3 eighths of 24, we talk about being able to split 24 into eighths, so it's the same kind of thing before. Here's a circle split into eight, and I'm going to count out 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And if we look now, we see that three of those 24ths is going to be nine. We can look at it physically like that, and then we can also look at it as a two step strategy. We say divide by the bottom multiply by the top. So if we were doing the same thing, 3 eighths of 24, we could do 24, step 1, divide by the bottom 24, divided by the bottom number, which is 8, and that gets me 3, and then 3 times the top number, 3, gets me 9. So either way, I get 9 here and 9 here, but we can look at it two different ways. It's going to take a lot of practice. It's not going to be something the students are going to understand right away, um, but the more you can talk about it with fractions at home, um, the more you can see fractions in your daily lives, especially with cooking um, and baking. Those are kind of things that start to get kids to see really what fractions actually look like.